Family is in mourning as they remember 23 year old Sally Natim. She was shot and killed by a stray bullet last week in the Bronx and her family held a viewing earlier and now the funeral is just getting started. News 12's Faith Graham joins us now from Sombra Restaurant on East Fremont Avenue where that gathering is taking place. Faith. Well, Amanda, it truly is such a sad time for the loved ones of Sally and Tim. When you speak to them, you can really feel the heaviness of the grief in their voice. And everyone that we spoke with tonight only had positive things to say about Sally, really just highlighting how much she will be missed. Now, her family tells us they're of Ghanaian heritage, so they're holding a traditional funeral here at Sombra Restaurant. But when we caught up with them earlier tonight at Ortiz Funeral Home, they tell us all they really want is for Sally to be here with them. Yeah, I'm just sad. I'll never be able to see her have her own kids or do anything. <laughs> the sisters and cousins of Sally and Tim devastated by the loss as they think of what her future could have held. She had her head on her shoulders and she has so many things that she wanted to do in this world. The 23 year old was just an innocent bystander when she was shot in the head and killed while sitting in a car on Sheridan Avenue last Tuesday night. Yet another victim of senseless gun violence. Nobody here should be playing God. Keep the weapons away. They took away something that was so, someone who was so important to this community and to my family. Her family says she was born and raised in the Bronx and was an entrepreneur, recently opening her own hairstyling business. Her friends say they'll remember her for her drive and her humor. It was a great experience getting to know her just because her laugh was one of those that made you just laugh. Like it was a joke that made the joke funnier. With the case still open and no arrests made, her family cannot find closure. We're going to continue to grieve. We miss her. This shouldn't have happened to her. And that person is probably still walking around freely. Like why? And tonight they're begging anyone involved to come forward, saying justice must be served. <laughs> Like, just turn yourself in if, if you can, please. You can feel that family's pain as they try to process this tragic loss. Faith, did they mention what might be next for them as they continue to grieve? Well, they say now they're just focused on celebrating her life. They say this traditional funeral will actually last through the early morning hours. And as for what's next, they're just focused on getting justice. They're hoping that someone will come forward, whether it's the person responsible or somebody with information that will hopefully lead to an arrest. In East Tremont, Faith Graham, News 12. And hoping they find that closure soon. Faith, thank you.